Hi guys, I just wanted to come on here and wish you all a happy new year. Happy new year, guys. Let's make this a creative one. Uh, what I also want to do is share a little uh, happy mail and uh, an Instagram order and a small uh, vintage treasure haul. Yeah, so I have two happy mails, one Instagram order and I did a small uh, treasure hunt. Um, but I had some lovely goodies. Now, the first happy mail that I'm going to show you, I filmed a couple of weeks ago, uh, right before Christmas. It's a funny one because uh, there's a big bird that's going to make its cameo on there. Uh, and then another happy mail, um, my Instagram order and some vintage treasures. It was like a small trip to the um, thrift shop, but it was a very good one. So I am going to show you the video that I made a couple of weeks ago about a happy mail that I received from my lovely friend Barbara. Enjoy! I found a small present in my mailbox this morning. Um, I know who this is from. This is from Barbara. She has an Instagram account. I will link that one below. And I did order something small from her and she she's just such a sweetheart. And then she sends Lots of other goodies, <laughs> yes. So what I wanted to do is just, you know, it's really nicely packaged. So I wanted to unpack it with you. Yeah, so let's go. This little uh, little card says, there you go. And thank you <laughs> from, from Barbara. Her um, Instagram account is Coole Kunst. It's really Dutch, but you know, I'll link it. I'll link it. She, um, I think she ships internationally. But if you're a Dutchie, go visit her. Look at this. This is like a Good Fortune doll, isn't it? Something like this. And it has the letter N on here. Oh, and I love this. It's a. It's called a poinsettia. Poinsettia. Uh, in the Netherlands, it's called a Christmas rose. <laughs> yeah, it is packaged in um, sewing paper. I am going to try to open it carefully. I'm going to open it on the back. Let's see what's in here. Barbara does lovely things with papers. Completely different style to what I do. She's like more modern and such. I am more vintagey, But she does have vintage stuff. Let's see. Oh, it's sort of playing cards. Oh, these are interesting. Do you see this? With all the numbers. Well, she knows I like my numbers. Skip bow. It was made in Belgium. It's a vintage playing card game. Love it. Thank you, Barbara. I don't have these. I think this was my order. So I'm going to put that to the side. This says, be merry. Love. She does this. Some mixed media and um, yeah, lovely stuff. Um, I just do something completely different style. There you go. Cute little bag. Opening it up. What's inside? It's a surprise carefully because i think i believe these are die cuts oh yes these are die cuts oh i already love this one yes and this says merry christmas oh a nice one i love the black also christmasy christmas carolers that's fantastic what's your favorite christmas carol i like um uh, 12 days of christmas on the first day of christmas yeah i love it and these I can use all year round. That is so nice. It's, it's like paper doilies. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I love them. I love them a lot. Yes. I believe I have this die cut. Do not, do not know for sure. And then these are winter mittens. And a deer. Ooh, deer. And another one. Different one. And then this style. It's like Bambi. Very cute. Very cute. She has lots of die sets. She's the, actually the one that gave me a lot of these whole reinforcements uh, forces from um, Elizabeth Craft Designs. Whole package and I was totally in love. So I had to buy my own. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. This is a, I believe, a, a pipe cleaner thingy with tinsel. And I don't have anything like this. So I'm going to be very, very careful. Because I have seen a couple of projects with these. Uh, so I'm going to use this next year. It says Merry Christmas. Probably a personal card. Let's just turn around. Let's see. 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she just says thank you. And um, here are some goodies. Enjoy. And have a very creative 2023. Isn't that cute? It's a little envelope with washi with presents on them, like boxes. Am I opening the right side? Yes, I am. Ooh, all sorts of stars. Yeah, she's really into like these die cuts and, su and such. Ooh, I love them. With the music and the red. I am so going to use them next year with all my Christmas stuff. Yes, because I don't, you know, I don't do a lot of Christmas, so I don't have a lot of Christmas stuff. But, you know, maybe I should. Maybe I should. And maybe I should start sooner <laughs> with doing some Christmas crafting. Very nice. So this is going to go with the Christmas. And then we have this. Oh, I love this. It's a doily. It's a paper doily, like a cake doily. I have those. Oh, I can make something. Oh, you can make something with this. That's cool. Um, can I open it up? Yes, I can. Oh, some beautiful German Gothic font book pages. Aren't these lovely? Yes, beautiful. Well, these are probably antique. These are probably antique. Thank you so much, Barbara. I love these. I will be creating with this soon. Yes, I have an idea. Oh, I love the the idea with the doily. Yes, very inspiring. So I'm going to do something with the doily and pearls. And pearls. Um, and this was the, um, the item that I bought. Love this. It's like a Christmas sock on... Um, it's, a, it's actually a clip. Yeah, she has her own stamp. Very professional. Um, Anton Peek um, images on here. It says, do not open until... Well, it is... Un today is until. I'm so gonna keep this. This is so cute. And the back as well is really, really lovely. Look, with a um, uh, wax seal stamp and a beautiful Elizabeth on here. Let's see. There's a big bird on my roof, guys. So, if you hear some... Funny noises. That's the big bird on my roof. My cats are going crazy. Yes, it's this one. It's Denison. Original vintage Denison gummed stars. Oh, I love this. I love this piece. Let me see if we can carefully. Where are you going, bird? Go away. It's making so much noise. Um, I do not know the English word for this one, but it is a water bird. It's actually, um, in Dutch, a meerkoot. A big one. <laughs> and it's been roaming my garden all morning. My cats are going crazy. I have put the, the gate from the garden open, um, hoping he will leave the garden. But he's not. He's actually not. There you go. Look at those. Those are real. I love them. The beautiful stars. I have to attend to the bird and the cats. I have no clue what's up with this animal. <laughs> I've opened the gate. Hopefully he'll he'll sort of notice. I don't know if something's wrong with him. I'm so happy my husband isn't at home because he has like a bird phobia. He's very afraid of bird. It's a thing. I know. Do not laugh too loud. I will laugh very loud. <laughs> So, yeah, this was an unboxing and my adventure with birds. Um, thank you so much, Barbara. I ordered these because I was absolutely in love with them. Hopefully you had more boxes for yourself because you cannot, you cannot buy this anymore. No, these were probably from the 60s or 70s. Love them. They are for Christmas. I am not going to put them with my Christmas stuff because I am just going to use it. Yeah, it's just great. Guys, thank you so much for enjoying my small unboxing. And thank you again, Barbara. Um, her shop, I will link below. It's on Instagram. Hope you find something that you like. Bye. Now I have two updates after this part of the video. The bird has left the garden. Yep, it just walked out of the gate and, you know, went on its way. <laughs> He's fine. The bird's fine. Um, and the other update is I contacted Barbara. Um... 
And unfortunately, she doesn't ship outside of the Netherlands. I think she will do Belgium, maybe Germany, but she doesn't ship overseas. So very sorry about that. But if you're a Dutchie, go visit her. Speaking of Dutchies, this is another happy mail that I received from um, one of my lovely Dutch uh, subscribers and followers on Instagram. And we've been in contact for a while now. She sent me some absolute treasures. Let me show you. I think she follows me very regularly because she knows that I was on the lookout for this one. This is an absolute treasure. I have never found this one. This is Le Petit La Rousse Illustré. But this is one from 1916. Oh my word. Yes. This is the... I Maybe it's even the oldest one. I adore it. Somebody adored it as well. It is beautiful. Now I have several copies of um, uh, Le Petit La Rousse. I'm not going to cut into this one. No, for sure. For sure. Definitely. Uh, the cover is like an Art Deco, Jugendstil style. Well, it's from 1916. So, love it. It's a dictionary. Well, no, it's an encyclopedia. Is it? Or dictionary? Well, it's French. Look at this. Yes. Yeah. I absolutely. So, this is a treasure. This is going to go into my sort of bookcase with all the other treasures she sent me this lovely little cutie yeah it's victorian uh i love victorian stuff i i recently found a large victorian photo album uh, this is not vintage guys well it's sort of vintagey but it is um not old and i love it look at all the little cuties and you can do so much with this <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to hoard it for a while and then I'm going to use it in a project. Now, <clears throat> she knows, <laughs> as all of you do, that I was born in Rotterdam. And um, even though I don't live in the center of Rotterdam anymore, I live, I live very uh, near it. And this uh, book is, says Colorful Rotterdam. <clears throat> it is all sorts of illustrations. It, I love it. I just adore this. I have, oh, I used to work. <laughs> it was like, where is this? But this is the um, uh, shopping street in the center of Rotterdam. And I used to work, well, not at that time, of course. Beautiful old illustrations. I love the illustrations of all sorts of spots, beautiful places in in Rotterdam, in the Netherlands. So I've never seen this one. I am so, so happy with this one. So this is like from 100 years ago or maybe even longer. And then this is probably from the 70s or 80s. Um, yeah, this is from 1937. I think so. And this is from, I think, the 80s. Yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So thank you very much. <clears throat> and then for this one, guys, this didn't come in this condition because it came completely intact. But I fell in love with it. I've never seen it. I love it so, so much. It's an almanac. It's a book with um, a different sort of information about the year 1913. So it is an antique. Um, I love the cover. It's sort of, it could be real leather. I think it's real leather with gold embossed and it is French. This is the bookmark layer thingy. Isn't it fantastic? I love it so much. So what I did, I, I completely took it apart very carefully. It worked. Look at that. That is also with gold. Can you see it? It's fantastic. I don't know how you could ever part with this one. But I am very, very happy with it. Look at this. So I took it apart. Why? Yes, you know why. I'm going to scan it. I'm going to scan everything in it. It has advertisements in here. All sorts. And then numbers, calendars. But it also has... Oh, the pages are also um, gilded with the gold. Yeah, I uh, love it, love it. But there is a part in here. Look at that. Yeah, everything is everything is fantastic, guys, I must say. But there is a part. Let me let me quickly sort of look. Uh that is an actual calendar. See this? It's like uh, February from 1913 and then you can do I don't know, st write stuff on here. So, you could do some uh bullet journaling. Oh yeah, here it is. Here's the here's the fun part. 
it's like an agenda, a calendar. Isn't that great? Love it. So definitely, definitely going to scan all of this and make some beautiful digital so that we can all play with it. Uh, and then I'm going to put it away and cherish it forever. So thank you so very much, sweetheart. I didn't contact her to ask her if I could mention her name. Um, but she knows who she is and I absolutely love it. Now, I have uh, an Instagram order uh, that came in and um, oh, some more treasures. Let me show you what I ordered on Instagram. I ordered this from a Dutch Instagram seller. Um, her Instagram account is Mooi van An. She only ships in the Netherlands. I'm sorry, but if you're a Dutchie and you don't know Mooi van An, uh, you should check her out because she has some real treasures. <clears throat> I bought two items. I bought this book and I bought a whole pile of file folders. Now, you'll be like, okay, well, that's exciting, file folders. If you're in the Netherlands, this is exciting because it's not a thing. File folders in the Netherlands is not a thing. So you hardly ever see them. And if I see them anywhere in a thrift shop or what have you, I pick up every um, item that I can find. Never seen this one. These are in yellow. I don't think these are really, really old because it has like this barcode on here. Still, the paper feels beautiful. It's like um, it has something in it. It's not handmade paper, but... It's really sort of recycled paper. Love the color. Look at the green. It's so, so beautiful. So what I did, she ordered, she um, posted some. You could buy some sets. And um, I actually wanted to buy it all. But then I told her, and I'm, I just want um, two sets. And I'm going to leave the rest of it on there. And everything that is left, I want to buy it. So I bought um, everything that she had uh, left. So I have, I, I believe, 20 or something. So really, really, I'm, I'm excited about this. Because I have projects in mind, guys, for file folders. Yeah, fantastic. So not really, really old. This, however, is old. Um, it is a book with drawings of sort of architectural drawings about ships big ships and such um i did not find a date did i no uh, it has um sort of an ex libris in here at one point it was 20 euros i think it was at an antique shop but i didn't she didn't pay 20 for it i didn't pay 20 for it that's that's what we do we don't pay that sort of money now it has all sorts and let me show you fold out sort of technical drawings about um, engineering of ships and such. And it is amazing. You know I love this. Look at that. It is so, so cool. And some are even bigger. I, it's full of them. It's just these drawings. Every single page is... Look, look how big, look how big. Well, you cannot see how big because it goes off camera. Like sailing ships, whatever. Look how, look how big this is. It's huge. I love it. I keep wondering uh, about how can you how can you part with this if you're a crafter yourself. I'm happy that you parted with it, but you know I just couldn't. Guys, uh, it's a little bit sort of what it has a water damage, but that's okay. I'm going to do some research if I could scan these, um, you know, to share, you know, with you guys. Uh, and otherwise, I will use it. So, um, her Instagram sh shop is mooi van an. Uh, I will link it below. But mind you, she doesn't. I know for sure she doesn't sh ship with um, outside of the Netherlands. But if you're a Dutch, you go look her up. I have one more thing to show you. Um, I went to a thrift shop uh, two or three days ago. And I didn't find a lot, but I found some beautiful uh, treasures uh, in books. Let me show you. This came from one of my regular favorite uh, thrift shops that I visit. Um, there's, uh, th there are two little problems. It's not nearby. I have to drive for, well, quite a bit. Um, and nothing in the thrift shop is priced. Not it, Well, that's not true. They have like this big display case with real antiques and there are prices on them which are ridiculously low. But hey, 
Um, so what I do, I just fill a basket and I go to the counter and there's this lovely person. And then uh, he or she uh, looks at my basket and tells me a price. And it's always way less than I expected. I'll tell you what the complete order uh, costs later. I'm going to show you. This is this is not an antique. This is not really really old, but I just love it. It's a little tan uh, fisherman's friends, but it looks sort of oldish. Yeah, but it has a barcode on here. So uh, what are you going to do with it? Well, I have a sort of a display with um, uh, some of these small tins. Some of them are really antique or vintagey, but I think it will look nice in there. And also posted stamps, uh, ta taps labels bits and bobs yeah bits and bobs i think uh bits and bobs is the word for the year 2023 bits and bobs uh now for the books this is i loved the cover i didn't even care what was inside because i absolutely love this it's like sort of marbled uh paper yeah it's a book that um holds bound sort of magazines um and the magazines are What's it called? Uh, top 2. It's like a children's magazine from the 70s. I can remember this. These were made for children um, with all sorts of, you know, fun stories and um, cartoons, puzzles, you name it. I love it. This is from, I believe, 1974 or 76. Oh, yeah. If you're a Dutchie, this is Maggie McNeil. Yeah, I don't... Uh, well, if you're Dutch, you know... If you're my age, you know her. So, Terug naar de kust. I'm sorry. I don't sing. <laughs> yeah, it is absolutely great. I think it was from 1974 or or something like this. I did find a date somewhere here. Uh, 76. Well, I was six then. So, yeah, love it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe... Uh, well, use the cover for sure. Then I found this book. I have several sorts of these books that um have beautiful pen drawings of ships where well there these i have several ones i don't own this one but honestly uh you can have four or five different ones you don't need to hoard all of them so i'm probably going to use these um i love them just the the drawings of the ships but i also love these pages because um of the size of it if you just cut it out fold it in half over this line, it will be a perfect page within um, a 5 by 8 uh, small journal. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, uh, I, love, I love the page. The pages are nice and um, sturdy. They're matte. I love the font on them. I just, you know, you can make something a little sort of bit bob out of this. So really, really cute. Love that one. Two vintage ones. Now this. Oh, I love this so much. This was from 1974. 476 yes this was a series of um children's stories actually fairy tales i i can remember that i had i had this one when i was younger i had this one because i just recognized this and oh and this one yes i had this one and this one for sure because i recognize it not the other ones um i think the the fairy tale is goldilocks translated i think it's goldilocks it's just a beautiful old children's fairy tale storybook with the lovely images in them. I just love it. Love it. I'm not going to cut in this one. I just want to keep it. I think it, it, this one is the Goldilocks one. Yeah, fantastic. Hopefully, um, I would like to find the whole series. That would be fantastic. Especially this one and this one. If I can find these again. I'd be a happy, a happy, happy girl. <clears throat> uh, need I say more? It's Walt Disney. It's Mary Poppins. It was from 1967. Uh, I'm not going to cut into this. This is just nostalgia. And uh, second best, my second favorite film by uh, Julie Andrews. The first one has to be Sound of Music, of course. Yeah, it's from, oh, 1964. Walt Disney. I. Uh, it has um, pictures of the um, of the movie in it. We've all seen this movie. If you haven't seen this movie again, what? Just you know, Mary Poppins. It's a classic. And also the drawings in here. 
I could use it for journaling. I am not going to because it's a treasure. If I look at it, all sorts of songs are, are coming to my mind. It's a musical, guys. It's a musical. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Oh, love it. Then these are like real treasures. Let me show you. It's an old one. Well, it's actually two of them. Uh, this one says piano music for two hands. Apparently, there was a book for piano music when you just had one hand. Or <laughs> probably just could play with one hand. Or, you know, maybe even three. <laughs> I, I just thought it was funny. Why would you say for two hands? Well, let me show you. I love music paper. I love using music paper. This ooh, actually came from a um, shop in Rotterdam. Much later, I guess, because this, this is an antique, guys. I love music paper, but what I love more about these books are the sort of covers. Now, this is not one piece of music paper. These are actually uh, different, um, let's call them scores, a party two. It's like different small ones. Oh, that's one so beautiful. So I love music paper, but I love this even more. Look at the illustrations. The fonts on here, love everything. These, these, this is a, this is a, a bit uh, a snippet, guys. Just this image here. So yeah, music paper for sure. Love it, love it. But I bought it for this, these sorts of images. Fa and this one, fantastic, right? Fantastic. I love them so much. The color, the font, the style. Um, I believe this is very early 1900s or very late 1800s so it is um an antique for sure which means i can scan it i am going to scan it um what i'm also going to do because i did think about it this is a very large it's, it's a larger than an a4 size it's a very large piece of um an image so i'm going to shrink them and make them into small sort of beautiful cards that you can use in your journals just you know shrink them i'm gonna shrink them you're gonna love it i know for sure look at this one yes her name's stephanie yeah she's a bit of a sourpuss isn't she she doesn't look happy at all but it's beautiful it is just amazing i the whole book is full with this a uh, different one some have beautiful like these illustrations uh, with a little bit of color on them and others are just in black and white but still or this in blue yeah uh, most of it is german <clears throat> uh, they're german i don't know the songs i'm old but not that old i have no clue there was another one that i really really liked in here where is it well it's somewhere look like these are the black and white ones still love them yeah or this one isn't it cute? So yeah, I have um, two of them. This says something different. It's like the German gothic, gothic font. Uh, again, it's gold embossed on very old sort of almost leathery paper. This came from the same shop. Yeah, lo love it. It's just pretty, right? Oh yeah, and there's another shop on here from Rotterdam. In the Westerwagenstraat. I know, I know where that is. It also says Amsterdam on here. Why? Don't know. But hey, you know, all these sorts of small um, booklets <laughs> that I absolutely love. So, oh, can you imagine just having this like uh, in a small card um, as a journal card in your journal? That'll be fantastic. Look at the color. Oh yes, you're gonna love it, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan this one for sure. So yeah, that was a, a great haul, uh, especially these books uh, here. So yeah, I went to the counter and there was a lovely gentleman there. And he looked at it and he was like, don't be angry with me, guys. Two euros <laughs> for the whole bit. I know, I know. Yeah, so treasure, treasure, treasure. Guys, that's it for, for today. Again, wishing you a fantastic 2023. Um, be happy, be healthy, be creative. And I hope you will join me um, this year on my creative journey. And I hope we're going to have lots of beautiful projects together. Um, starting tomorrow, I'm going to start tomorrow with another crafty project. Um, also, this month, 
I'm going to remind you, I'm going to do a Q&A. The Q&A will be between the 17th of January and the 1st of February. Why? Because 17 is my birthday and January 31st is the anniversary of my YouTube channel. Um, if you have questions, doesn't matter what questions, like what kind of peanut butter do you like or whatever, whatever you want to send me, um, please email me. In that case, I can, in that way, I can just, uh, you know, print them out and uh, make a selection of the scans. My email is always in my description box below. I will also have um, Moi van An linked below and Coole Kunst uh, linked below. These are two Dutch Instagram shops. Unfortunately, neither of them uh, ship outside of the Netherlands. But if you're Dutchy, go look them up. I'll be back again tomorrow with a crafty project. Have a wonderful first day of the year, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.